and it's all starting with two cups of sour cream. I have the juice and zest of one lime, about a quarter of a cup of finely minced cilantro, and two green onions that have been minced up white and green parts, one clove of minced garlic, and I have two teaspoons of my favorite southwestern kind of seasoning that I buy in the store. This is called Badia Sazon Tropical. So anyway, we're gonna mix this up. It's gonna be super easy. And today we're gonna just go ahead and um, serve this in a little tray with some corn chips and some fresh vegetables. So just get your sour cream in your bowl and then we're just gonna add everything in there with it. There goes our lime zest, our cilantro, green onion, and you can adjust these things up or down depending on your particular taste. If you don't like um, fresh garlic, we normally don't like like raw garlic, but today I'm going to go for it because it's going to add two different levels of flavor. There's garlic in that seasoning as well. Lime juice and our seasoning blend. Then just mix it all up. This is gonna be really good if you let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours before you serve it, just like any other dip. Everything's gonna have time to mingle and meld and it's gonna be delicious. It smells really good already. This is like, you know, a little Latin riff on a green onion dip. If you've ever had green onion dip, it's really awesome. I'm gonna get this into a serving dish and I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like. There you have it. I set this up for everyone with the dip in a little bowl inside of another bowl where I have some fresh veggies and some corn uh, tortilla chip. And now we're just ready to have a party. Today we're gonna do a viewer request for a retro clam dip. Now, this is right out of my grandmother's uh, recipe box. I grew up eating it, and it's really simple, but boy, is it delicious. What you're gonna start off with is one eight ounce brick of cream cheese that has been softened at room temperature, a half a cup of mayonnaise, a half a cup of sour cream. I have two five ounce cans of minced clams. You wanna drain those, and you wanna reserve two tablespoons of the clam juice, which is what I have here. Now, when you get these clams, I'm not joking, you're gonna drain it and you're gonna think, really? This was two cans worth of clam, minced clams. It's mostly juice, but look, if you have pets or anything, let them, they'll love the juice, or you can save it and make yourself a bloody Caesar and, and everybody will be happy. So this is two tablespoons of the reserved clam juice, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and one teaspoon of Tabasco, which you can choose to leave out if you don't like that. I have one tablespoon of my salt-free garlic and herb seasoning because I thought that would go really well in this dip. Otherwise, you'll just wanna do a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of ground mustard. And that's it. So we'll just go ahead and get right into this. The first thing we're gonna do is set our spatula aside. We're going to whip the cream cheese until it is light and fluffy. All right, so we've beaten together our softened cream cheese, our mayonnaise, and our sour cream. And then we're going to add in our clam juice, Worcestershire and Tabasco sauce, and all your seasonings and then just beat that together. Just give your bowl a scrapey scrape. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold in our clams. And we're just gonna fold those in, mix them in. And then you're gonna just finish this off with the juice of half a lemon. And I'm using bottled organic lemon juice. So that's why it looks a little darker than regular lemon juice. Just stir this in. And then we'll move on and we'll fix this up real pretty and we'll bring you back and we'll show you what it looks like. Well, there you have it. Our retro style 1950s clam dip all plated up for you and ready to go. You can serve this in a chip and dip plate. Of all the things I have for my kitchen, that's not one of the things I have for my kitchen. I don't really entertain that much. So having a lot of the, those pieces just isn't a thing. So 
This is so delicious. The addition of the lemon juice at the end, the Worcestershire sauce, there's a little bit of a sting from the Tabasco, but hardly any. Hardly any. It's so good, and honestly, if you wanted to add an extra can of clams, you can go ahead and do that. It really is a personal preference, kind of like the Tabasco. So this will keep in your refrigerator for up to a week. You could make it in advance. Make sure that you stick it in your fridge for about an hour before you eat it so that all of those nice spices can bloom and rehydrate. It will also help to thicken the dip up. And then you can serve this. The recommended serving uh, thing from my grandmother was either potato chips like these ruffles or rigid, rigid potato chips or um, Fritos like a, a salty corn chip not like a tortilla chip but that's a personal preference also I think this would be great served with cucumber slices or celery sticks if you are on um, a low carb diet so I hope that you uh, give this a try and uh a really quick and easy four ingredient fruit dip that you can use all summer long serve it up with fruit with little baby chocolate chip cookies or vanilla wafers you can use this as a filling for whoopie pies or as a cake filling it's going to be fantastic what you're going to need to start is an eight ounce block or half pound of cream cheese that's going to be softened a seven ounce jar of marshmallow cream. You can use a store brand if you want. One cup of powdered sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So to get started, all you need to do is we're gonna loosen up this cream cheese and give it a little bit of a mix and then we're gonna add the marshmallow cream and all the other ingredients and we're gonna have a super delicious dip. Now all we have to do is add our marshmallow cream and then we'll whip that all together. And a top tip here is using a rubber spatula, you wanna go ahead and give that a spray with some vegetable oil spray, you know, like your cooking spray when you bake a cake or get a cookie sheet ready. That's just the easiest way. I mean, it's gonna be a sticky experience anyway. That's the best way to get the majority of this out of the jar. Okay, so now all you have to do is beat these two ingredients together until they're light and fluffy. Now when everything looks really well incorporated, we're going to go ahead and add the vanilla extract and the powdered sugar. And we're going to blend this slowly at first so you don't get it all puffed up in your face and then we're going to blend it thoroughly for just about a minute. And that is all she wrote. Now we're just going to go at this with the spatula one more time just to kind of scrape the edges, the sides, and make sure that everything on the bottom got well blended in. You can see that it did. And now all you have to do is pop this in a bowl and get ready to serve it with some delicious fresh fruit. So there's our fluffy marshmallow fruit dip all ready to be served. I put together a little selection of fresh fruit that we usually have on hand this time of year. Some fresh local strawberries, a freshly cut pineapple, some washed and plucked grapes all ready to go. You should serve this with whatever fruit you like the best.